Hello and welcome to Year Pacific Magazine. I'm Senior Airman Michael Connors, and on this edition, we're in Vietnam for the sixth annual Naval Engagement Activity with the Vietnam People's Navy, as both nations celebrate the 20th anniversary of diplomatic relations. Guided missile destroyer USS Fitzgerald and littoral combat ship USS Fort Worth enter Vietnam with plans to foster mutual understanding, build confidence in the maritime domain, and strengthen relationships between the Vietnam People's Navy, the U.S. Navy, and the local population. The work that Fitzgerald and Fort Worth are doing here in the naval engagement activities with Vietnam, you can't overstate the importance of it. I'm glad you're here, both of you. Preparing together and exchanging skills by working with the Vietnam People's Navy during times of peace builds partnerships that allows for smooth performance during times of crisis. There is no more important work that's being done, and I'm really proud uh, that Fort Worth and Fitzgerald, two of our, our premier platforms, uh, filled with the best sailors in the world, are here. Special occasion that we get to pull into uh, Vietnam, a place that a lot of Navy ships don't pull in and haven't gotten a chance to experience. Uh, and having the opportunity to work not only with our U.S. counterparts, uh, the USS Fitzgerald, but also working with the Vietnam People's Navy. Take a uh, more. <laughs> they, they do or do not have. So they we're do. looking to learn from them and hoping to impart uh, what we know as, as sailors and mariners for so many years. We hope we can uh, you know, give that context to them as well during our engagement. This year's Naval Engagement Activity Vietnam marks the first time an LCS, or a littoral combat ship, USS Fort Worth, visits Vietnam. An example of the U.S. Navy incrementally developing its cooperation and partnership with the Vietnam People's Navy. That Fort Worth, being LCS-3, one of the very early ships, is performing as well as she is, is being available as much as she is, and is bringing the flexibility and the capacity is uh, pretty revolutionary. In addition to being the first LCS to visit Vietnam, the USS Fort Worth is also the first to visit North and Southeast Asia, giving it the chance to work with and show other nations the capability of the new LCS. During the USS Fort Worth 16-month deployment, she will visit many ports throughout the region to normalize the presence of littoral combat ships. The engagements will ease cooperation during meetings at sea. And, and, uh, so this is, this is a very safe. We know how to uh, use some simple uh, terminology so that we're all on the same page together. We can operate near each other. If we needed to both operate together, say for a humanitarian assistance mission, we could easily communicate with each other to work together. This is where we use the hyperbaric equipment Search and rescue swimmers are getting to exchange ideas and teach and learn from their counterparts. Uh, same goes with my, uh, my independent duty corpsmen. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to realize and expand on the operational potential of the littoral combat ship. Pressure to go in. The U.S. Navy sent subject matter experts from various career fields to engage with their Vietnamese partners to enhance their ability to respond to disaster relief efforts. So in America, expires no good April is a chance to exchange ideas uh, they they have to worry about some of the same things that we do with damage control and medical and search and rescue and it's a chance for my experts to work with their experts and to learn from each other and both navies come away stronger because of that. the exchanges focus on common core proficiencies common to all mariners U.S. Navy hospital corpsmen instruct Vietnamese doctors and medics in tactical combat casualty care, or medicine that can be done by medical or non-medical personnel. This would come in handy when uh, there's mass casualty situations where they can't, they simply don't have enough doctors to treat everybody. So they have to rely on uh, military trained personnel that don't have medical backgrounds other than this course. The experts from the U.S. Navy work with Vietnamese doctors, whom then pass what they learned on to non-medical personnel. So that way, they're able to maximize uh, the efficiency of saving lives. My interaction with, with the uh, Vietnamese has been very 
uh, positive. I've uh, been told many times that they're very uh, grateful for us being here and that wish us to come back in the future to teach more. Uh, personally, they told me that they learned a lot and they had a great chance to share the experience uh, from their uh, experience in the Vietnamese context to U.S. service uh, members of the Navy. And also they learned a lot of medical advanced uh, methods that he uh, explained and present during the course of the classes. Building friendships with the local community was just as important during okay. naval engagement in Vietnam with sailors practicing language skills with students, putting on free concerts in the town park at night, and giving swimming lessons. The community service events give the local population a chance to see the sailors out in the town, meet them, and interact with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I had the pleasure enough to go on one this morning to uh, Lo Quinn Da High School uh, to talk with some English majors that were there. It was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. So that tends to build trust, build relationships, and build understanding between uh, the sailors and the, uh, the local citizens of Da Nang. They're very welcoming and very open, all like us. Like, we're all pretty much the same. <laughs> the Seventh Fleet Band plays several concerts for the local population at universities and schools and for the Vietnamese military. Have been great. The people are awesome, very friendly, and uh, I think in general, they love us. <laughs> I think that's important, uh, not just for the the country, but it's it's important to build relations. Uh, you, that's the way that uh, the, the local population learns about the United States Navy is, is getting out there and seeing us doing, seeing the sailors uh, doing great things within the community and having opportunities to engage with. The I also think that it, it enriches the experience that the sailors have by getting a chance to actually sample the local culture other than just going out and maybe catching a bite to eat or going in and taking a tour. Relationships matter and in times where whether we work together at sea, whether we work together in port, uh, if we were set up to work together for a disaster assistance, uh, those types of things can uh, those types of relationships uh, come in handy to making that process work better? Well, uh, well, I'd really enjoy uh, to have you guys, for, for especially for this uh, opportunity that we can have a lot of knowledge and also friendship between the two countries, Vietnam and U.S. Relationships matter. slowly building on that relationship. Uh, we're learning from one another uh, each year. And I think it's important that uh, as mariners, uh, we communicate, we cooperate, so that uh, when we meet each other out at sea, uh, we do so with you know, less miscommunication and uh, certainly better understanding. Well, I'm most proud of uh, the work that the sailors of USS Fort Worth and USS Fitzgerald uh, did throughout the week. Their engagements with their counterparts from the Vietnam People's Navy was, uh, was rock solid throughout. We had open uh, communications, really candid dialogue with our counterparts, and uh, I think we paved the way for even better engagements uh, in the coming years. A long way from home, we're America's away team. We've got the best force we've ever had. We understand we ask a lot of you, and uh, we're never disappointed. And with that, we wrap up another edition of Pacific Magazine. Reporting from Da Nang, Vietnam, aboard the littoral combat ship USS Fort Worth, I'm Senior Airman Michael Connors. And from all of us here at AFN Pacific, thanks for watching. <laughs>